California Highway Patrol hired me in 1973. And 16 weeks of academy training, they put all the new kids in Los Angeles. And uh, I wanted to become a motorcycle officer and quickly I became a motorcycle cop. And I just, I loved my job as a cop. I started out as a baby police officer back in 1973 with Laguna Beach Police Department in Southern California. Uh, after a short time, I went to the Orange Police Department, uh, also in Orange County, where I worked patrol detectives and ultimately canine. I wanted to go back to school, so I, I went back to school the second I got off probation. When my dog died in surgery, it was kind of my inspiration to go to law school and ended up defending cops for the last 37 years, what I do. Since then, I've been looking for problems and finding solutions. I would get policies from agencies and it was outdated, it wasn't applicable. We're all working out of the same California state law. We're all working out of the same federal law. Why does everybody have a different way of doing business? And one of the things I learned in graduate school was the standardization of best practices. I came from a small agency of about 75 sworn, and we had made the mistake that many agencies do. And we had literally taken a copy and paste format of policies from a neighboring agency. What most agencies were doing was borrowing from a neighboring agency and saying, we'll just plug our name into it and it'll fit. Well, the problem was <clears throat> what they were borrowing was no good to begin with. And it didn't fit and it was old stuff. I had my series of lectures focused on training. and Bruce had his series of lectures focused on civil liability. And uh, as we got together, we got to talking about it. And out of those conversations came this idea of trying to standardize best practices in California law enforcement and back it up with constant ongoing training. So I got together with Gordon and over dinner, we talked about the prospect of maybe taking this on a larger scale. And that's when Lexapol was actually born. Fast forward to the early 2000s, when Gordon and I talked with starting some sort of a fire side of Lexapol. Firefighters have got the same problems that law enforcement have. Everybody's got a different way of doing business. There's no standardization of best practices. There's no constant ongoing training regarding the events that are overrepresented. So there was a lack of a, of a common denominator, if you will, that brings the best practices, brings the legal aspect of what's right, what's wrong when running a fire department. That's our innovative model of having policies that are sound, they're based in state and federal law, they are updated regularly, they are supported by training. Your agencies and your first responders get that consistent training every day. All of our decisions about new products, new services that we bring to market are from us listening to customers, understanding their needs, and applying content and technology to help them be most successful. We want to be able to put public safety personnel back on the street. You shouldn't have to worry about keeping your agency up to date on legal changes, best practice changes. That's what we provide for the agency. So again, we can put public safety people back on the street doing what they were trained for, what they're hired for, and what the public expects of them. Everyone in public safety, what are you all about? Your primary mission is preservation of life. And that's what Lexapol is all about. The team needs to understand that what we're doing for public safety is felt every single day by every cop, every firefighter, every correctional person out there. At Lexapol, we take a holistic view to helping agencies achieve operational excellence and engage with their communities in the best way possible. When I started, there were only 30 of us. Today, we're, we are over 400, many of which have, have come from uh, public service, whether working in local government, working for a nonprofit, or as a first responder. I think so many of us that started a career here at Lexapol were former customers, and that's key, and that's the core to our growth, because seeing is believing. I look at where Lexapol is today, Every employee in this organization is the person who is responsible for the success of the endpoint user. And I'm so proud that uh, we put together a team of people who really understand what the mission is. You know, we're not just an organization that's designed to make profit. This is an organization designed to preserve life and to make things better for people around this great country. We're gonna do everything in our power, with our expertise, 
our products, our services to enable our first responders, our public servants to be at their best so they can do their best and make the greatest connection with their communities and serve them well. To the early adopters, thank you from the bottom of my heart, but more for your vision. You saw what we were trying to do and you believed in the integrity of the information that we're, we were putting out there and the products and solutions that we're putting into market. And I am so grateful for the people who trusted us early on and became our customers way back then and the people who are signing up every day recognizing that Lexapol our solutions are, are the answer to success. We've grown to this company, but it still feels like home. To recognize a successful outcome because of good policies, good procedure, good training, good people, all those things working together, that makes me just so proud to be part of all of this.